to Damian Leon and David Howard Thornton. I'm sorry I was so harsh on your last film. But, bravo, my boys. Bravo on this last one. What's going on, Dungeon Dwellers? Welcome back to Dave's Dungeon. I am your host, as always, the one, the only, Dungeon Master Dave. Welcoming all you creeps and ghouls to another Spooktober 2023 entry. This time, October 2nd, Terrifier 2, the sequel we've all been waiting for. <sighs> Guys, I don't know if you're ready for this one. I don't know, because some of you haven't seen Terrifier yet. I warned you off of it. But you need to. You really, 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 really need to. So, before we get off into the body count, let's talk a little bit about the film. This is a scream box and bloody disgusting production. A dark age cinema production. And we have the return of the one, the only, Damien Leon directing again and writing this time. <clears throat> I mean, actually writing. I mean, it has a plot. It has a plot. It has a plot. So, who else is back? Yes, your boy. Yes, my favorite clown, Art the Clown, is back. And, oh boy, if you can't tell by the crazy look in my eye, he's going places and doing things. So, as is our new tradition, let's get off in the body count. We have one return of one fucked up clown. And I mean, I, I'm sorry, YouTube. You don't like me cursing. That's too bad. He is. He is the definition. You can look up what fucked up clown is in the dictionary. And his picture will be there. One, starting exactly where we left off. We're right back with Vicky and Monica early in the morning. This is why I'm apologizing to the director. Because... I was a little harsh on there's no story there. I might have been a little wrong. So, my bad. Mea culpa. But it's almost like they listened to me from last year. <laughs> or two years ago. But uh, I don't really think that happened. I just think, you know, they made smart choices and wrote a better story this time. Um, we have one hole in the head. One art. Because if you remember from last time, boys, boys... Missing some brain matter. One hang up the phone. I said hang up the phone. But of course because Art is mute. I will be his anger translator. One a mind is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> he got a little hungry. One restocking of the arsenal. Because you never know when you're going to need good scalpels. Hey guys I want to say this. One cat of nine scalpels and fish hooks is back. So we have one laundry day. Nothing clean, you know. <laughs> one uh, new friend. What is this? Hi, I want to play. Wet noises. Oh, no. And I'm just going to say that right now. If you are all at all squeamish about blood, guts, gore, and awful, run. Run far and fast. Get the fuck out of here. Run. Run. Okay. Terrifier 1 was a jock. Terrifier 2 is a s marathon. It's, it, it's not even a sprint. It's a marathon. Of as fast as you can go. When did we just become best friends? Yep, scene. One better than dry cleaning service. Because I'm going to tell you. Even, even, um, the concierge at the Continental said it best. No one's that good. Rest well, buddy. I'm going to miss you. When I'm in my cosplay era scene, when we meet our titular hero, and I mean, 
for some of you mean that literally and I'm looking at you with that sort of look in my eye of what's wrong with you because she is a teenager but again I was a teenager too at some point but Sienna yeah she's nice she works I like her let's not go further than that some of you I'm looking straight down the barrel when I'm in my serial killer phase, because I'm a little brother, <laughs> and that's our other character, Jonathan. One 100% flammable accessories, completely coated in highly ignitable paint. You know, because that's exactly what you want your costumes to be made out of. You know, it should be 100% flammable materials. Um, and of course, we have the lovely trope. 100% mom who is 100% overworked and too busy to pay attention to her kids. You know, just the situation you want. We have one mom brothers going trick-or-treating as a serial killer conversation. On the back of that, we have one is mom is mom is brother crazy conversation that I just have to say. I didn't feel comfortable the whole time that was going on because what's this? There's a weird suggestion in there that something's going on with Sienna too. So, mm, got my eyeball on that. One looking at art on the internet, which comes down to my topic. Topic for for take the hint there with the what's going on with Sienna in the background, and you'll have an idea of what my theory might be on what we're talking about in the gory details. I think, I don't think it's just Jonathan and I don't think it's just art, quote unquote art. I think this whole family's a little screwed up. And if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. We'll get into it though. So stay tuned. God, this is going to take forever because also, whereas the other one was a tight, I think it was like 77 minutes or like 80 minutes, right at an hour, um, a little bit over. This is like over two hours, so strap in. This might be a long one. We have tallest kid in class. Not such a bad little brother. We have one gratuitous house on Haunted Hill footage. And I want you all who are horror fans to be watching in the as you watch this and see all the different footages because this isn't the only one. If you're paying attention, you'll see lots of callback shots to tons of movies. I mean, I think there are at least four or five different callback shots to various films in our repertoire so by all means this isn't the only one but this is one that i had to call out because it's that they're coming to get you barbara or no wait house on haunted hill footage oh no this is the um uh, it's coming to get you uh skeleton scene from the vincent price house on haunted hill footage so sorry i got the two call outs mixed up next is the one razor sharp sword that never gets explained where it comes from but turns out to be the core piece of the whole ensemble i mean what girl leaves the house without her russian spalder and you know i i'm sorry this is the one part of the film some of you may go what's going on here what is this about why is this here and for good reason, but we'll get into that in the gory details when I talk to you about what I think is going on in this film. <sighs> One Clown Cafe theme song with Dream Sequence. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, this isn't my favorite part of the movie. And we can talk about why that is. It, it's not maybe why you think it is. I, I mean, I, I'm not one to usually neg a kill, but... This one I might gonna neg a little bit. Um, food's a little funny at the clown cafe. Yeah, I probably would have murdered everybody there too, but you know, that's that song only 
brings in my nightmares now. Um, I like the one little sort of ring robin about it, but it goes on for far, 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 far too long. And I think art has an appropriate response to it. But then we have one glass insects and razor blades, all part of a balanced breakfast and all needed for a growing boy to grow up all big and strong. One, oh shit, it's a clown again. Um, every time I say that, I just want you to think, oh, art. Oh, things are popping off now. Yeah, that's what I want you to think. Because we can't, I don't think, without violating several forms of the terms of service on YouTube, talk about what is occurring <laughs> when we talk about that, at least in the first half hour. One, take it. Aren't you going to take it? Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, singing. <sighs> One, eat lead, you filthy animals. One, Tommy Gate. One, Tommy Gun Foo. In 4K, explicit, high def. Splatter tastic glory. One flamethrower, slightly used. One clown cafe theme song played on fire. If that doesn't sort of like clear up what's going on, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. One what's in the box? What's in the box? A sword. Because we're supposed to know we're in a dream remember that 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 whole dream sequence thing this bedroom's on fire meanwhile it's on fire yeah remember that whole costume's flammable and made of 100 percent flammable and we're gonna spray, spray some flammability on it so that it's extra flammable while it's burnable yeah catch fire who would have guessed <laughs> <sighs> one mom's losing her shit at 3 a.m. in the morning because of course when your bedroom catches on fire your mom's not too happy about that one mom it's not that bad it's only a little fire conversation <laughs> um one those better one these wings look better that way i would have worn them burned just personally one, whoa, the sword didn't get burned. Why didn't it get burned? How didn't it get burned? It didn't get burned. How didn't it get burned? It's almost a manic question. <sighs> One, his greatest creation yet. Because he had some scalpels to the cat of nine tails that we saw him build in the first movie. And we see him add nails and uh, some other things. Yeah. Because it's not just going to be, ooh, a neat little set piece or a nice little piece of window dressing in this one. Oh, no. We brought, we, we, we brought toys to play. We brought them to actually come and do things with them in this one. Yeah. Look in my eye. Do you see this sort of unblinking sort of, I hope you're ready for this. Yeah, I hope you're ready for this. One, we've only had one TV this whole time, Art. And I think we've seen this TV break like four times. Three, at least. At least three times. One school, new school mascot. And it's not the one you think. One, hey, uh, uh, hey, uh, girl, that's cute. Why don't you go look at the kittens? Yeah, go look at the kittens. Don't you want to see some kittens? Hey, one uh, principal that one time at sleepaway camp. Yeah, Felicia Rose, shout out. I love that. One Jonathan, quit staring at that girl, you little creep. Teacher interaction that, of course, makes you feel bad for Jonathan. One new school mascot makes friends. And yeah, again. Oh, look, a clown. 
one sorry I barely slept. I almost died in a fire scene with your friends. You know, it was no big deal. One Monica Brown face eating this morning casually reported across the news in a throwaway scene. One panic attack where you run four feet from your friends and then proceed to tell them what's bothering you while completely calm. So they'll listen. One, of course, something strange is going on, quote, like a of course there is. <laughs> One want some of my cookie comment. And those who, those who know what scene I'm talking about, you know. One you were playing with what in the hallway? Mom interaction. <laughs> One store-bought pair of wings will be fine. One, hi, you come here often? Honk, honk. You forgot your bag scene. And there's so much about that scene. There's so much about that scene that should make everybody feel uncomfortable. And it's just because he's standing there. And it's just because you know who he is. And it's just because you know what he can do. Three silly pairs of glasses. One noisemaker, one horn, telling the best joke you can while trying to terrify a girl. Priceless. For everything else, there's violence. One we're closed, but the show will be starting soon. Scene. One hidden real body amongst all the fake bodies at a costume store. Yay! Who can find the Easter egg? Ah! <sighs> One, I'm not crazy. I'm just seeing weird things. Conversation. <sighs> One, what did you do this time and why do you have this conversation? Because, of course, Jonathan can't go five minutes and breathe. One is the Miles County Clown, our father conversation. One, the boy who cried, the clown did it. Mom, one mom can't even with this romaine lettuce recall for E. coli. She's losing her shit the whole time. This this whole movie, mom is lost. She's gone. She's just out of it. And this time it's E. coli. One trick-or-treater you should have just given the candy to. I'm I'm serious, Allie. Allie, you should, or, yeah, no, it's Allie. It's Allie. I gotta remember the names of the people who played in this movie, because some of them are only, like, around for a minute. <laughs> this is one of the more brutal murders. Uh, one I shouldn't have looked in the bag. I should not have looked in the bag. Um, when you're probably tripping, Sienna, you should probably take your meds. Yeah, at that moment, probably a good idea to take your meds, but in the long run, a bad, bad idea. One, no escape, sign, flash warning. Brutality, ahoy. And I love it, the, the, the subtleness of that little signal. If you catch it, and it says no escape. Right at that little moment. You know. You know. And it's it's right before the moment. you We all wish we could escape. <laughs> ah. One, I'm wearing it with the battle damage anyway. Scene. Which I gotta say. Of all the costumes I've ever had in my life, I mean, ever had, ever, ever, ever had, I have never had a, a Halloween costume that good. That that was a great costume. I gotta give whoever made that and the props team and costuming, 
kudos on that. One, what was that noise? Oh shit, the clown again! Yeah, there's a lot of that in this movie. And then we get into what is one of the most brutal filleting and seasonings of a flounder that I have ever seen performed in my life. Live. Then we get one gratuitous Night of the Living Dead footage, which, again, they're coming to get you, Bob, bro. One dad would have loved it, putting emotions in my horror films exactly where they don't go. One, oops, I found my daughter Allie alive with art playing. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, the scenes before that are rough. The scene where the mom finds her daughter, you best have not put food in your mouth. You best have not taken a drink or nothing. I'm just saying, just, just warning you, this is a gooey gooey two-hour movie be ready <sighs> one always buy your own drinks because friends can really suck scene and i have to say it if these were my friends no i wouldn't have been going to this party one this costume took me forever to make like a whole year sort of conversation which is it's fine it's Fine. When I'm feeling really good for some reason that I can't put my finger on. Why does why does everything taste good? Scene. I have to say this. I have to just give this movie the award for the best candy bowl I've ever seen produced in a motion picture. <sighs> One, your dad was sick conversation between our title character's mother and Jonathan with a front hand slap and you're such a bitch. <laughs> Backhanded scathing comment. Um, One, okay. You're really starting to trip now, Sienna. One, this is why you're not supposed to mix alcohols with medications. Scene. Um, one, oh shit, someone fucked up the car. Because we can't have a movie nowadays without the car getting messed up now. I don't understand why we... Kill all the teenagers you want, but leave the cars alone. One mom's lost it, and so has Sienna. Sienna's tripping hard by this point. See. <laughs> One a little bit of mildly in your drink while an while on antipsychotics is not a good mix. <laughs> um. One Jonathan's first act of manhood, running immediately into the murderous count clown and getting kidnapped. You know, because that's the first thing we do as 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 um, as young men. You know. One, I love you, Mom. I don't say it enough scene. And I gotta say this. This is the second time this film has tried to, like, steer me from, like, this mom and this daughter, like, don't have a good relationship to, hey, they still love each other kind of territory. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it. It's, it's bait and switch. It's the perfect setup. Don't you fall for it, Ricky Bobby. Don't you fall for it. <sighs> because then we find out where quarters go. Yeah, one mom's given her final quarters to call someone who's cares scene. Yeah, remember the quarters and the shotgun? You might not, because that's Terrifier 1. Yeah, it ain't, lo it ain't loaded with bullets. It ain't loaded with bullets. One good trip turns bad. Very bad. Very, very bad. You know, if you're just oots, 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 and suddenly face. <laughs> Bad trip. One, your mom looks hungry for some mashed potatoes, but now my 
crazy dad theory starting to sound less like a theory and more like, why the hell is this clown feeding his mom mashed potatoes in his house? Like, why did he come here? Why are we here? Why? One time for Jonathan's medicine. Ooh, shiny, a sword. <laughs> Almost like you recognize it. Yeah, I... Do you understand? I have I have thoughts and I have feelings about this movie and where it possibly is going. When I was trying to do something nice by drugging you scene, because of course our friends are nothing if not trying to give us a good time. One, Sienna, I'm in trouble. Come to the old carnival where we never go. <laughs> One, it's only a few miles from here, scene. Because, of course, everything's only a few miles from here, scene. One little girl ghost backstory. Wait, where are you going while high, Sienna? What, where are you going? Why are they letting her go? One Sienna's dad died in the, by driving into a power station story. Oh, that's supposed. Uh, oh, 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 right, right, right. Because we haven't seen Art take critical damage, and why is he mute? Look, I could be way off base, but I'm just saying. One. Jonathan is trapped in the old Terrifier ride. They did it. Ten points to Terrifier 2. They said the name of the film. They actually gave us a rationale for why the movie's called Terrifier. Golf clap. One let's make out and do nose candy in the car before we get murdered scene. One legit amusement park jump scare. One I have to go pee. You want to, ah, this is our first, I think on the channel, decapitation, ah, ah. not decapitation, decapitation, very, very particular term there, decapitation, no murder, very different. <laughs> One brook gets dragged out through a broken glass window. One brook gets running across a carnival in heels while having a huge leg gash. You know, because that's what you do. One making a mess with acid and brook in the bathroom. That's already a mess scene because... Of course, it's not any worse if you make it a mess. One tastes like chicken moment with fresh breasts. One Jonathan, why are you here? Dumbass run scene. Like, all of a sudden, Jonathan. One domestic combat round one. Angel versus clown. Art wins. One continue running, dumbass. Or hide, might work. Not really. I mean, literally gets spotted the second he stops. One, Sienna doesn't like Mortal Kombat anymore. No, no, no. She rethinks her life at a critical point in the movie. One, Jonathan gets a taste of the sharp stuff scene, which at this point in the movie, you're just going, Jonathan, why? You, you're too dumb to live. You're the reason I, I root for killers in movies. One domestic combat round two. Angel versus clown. Angel Sienna gets the upper hand. One dad saw the clown and he saw you. Foretelling story between Jonathan and Sienna. Again, going into that whole is he or isn't he question. Because again, red herring could be. I'm not going to say yet. One cat of nine tails. Actually, no, not nine tails. Nine hooks and scalpels fully deployed. 
and used, used. I, I, you know, there are some weapons you deploy to completely obliterate an enemy. An M1A1 Abrams, an F-22 Raptor. This is not one of those. This is one of, this is a weapon you deploy against people you really don't like. That you want to hurt, but not necessarily kill. It's bad. It's, woof. It's not worse than human vivisection, but it's bad. <sighs> One beating the feathers off of an angel. One reversal. It's my turn now, clown. <laughs> One rebar spear and pale foo. Ma! One shot with mom's butter knife, complete with mom's ghost. <laughs> and if you understand what I mean by butter knife. <clears throat> One rising from the ashes, a phoenix must f first fall. If you know what's going on. <laughs> One with this sword, I have the power scene. Which again, I think there are total MacGuffins within the film. At this point, it's a clown brought back from the dead. We're in fantasy land and who cares? One snack time with Jonathan. One for my next trick, trick Houdini might be proud of me. One getting right to the point suddenly. And if you know what that scene's about, it ain't quick. Yeah, I, I, again, after the hooks, after the, the, the scalpels, this is not something you do to somebody who you want to die fast. This is something you do to somebody who you want to hurt. One decapitation. Not clean, but in full view of the camera. Full brutality, just like chopping wood. One last smile, because of course there's one freaking last smile. One, it's not done. He isn't dead yet. One little girl won't let him die. Scene. And finally, one Vicky in art forever with one Chris Jericho cameo. If you didn't catch it, he's there. It's after the credits, so make sure you stay tuned. But that's going to be it for the body count. I'm going to give it four skulls. Dave says, make sure you go see this one. MVPs go out to David Howard Thornton, Lauren Laverne, Lavera, 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 sorry about the last name, Felissa Rose, Chris Jericho, and of course, Damian Leone, who, as always, keeps it real, real, real. But that's going to do it for this review without the spoilers. If you haven't seen this film yet, Take your cue to either <laughs> run away now or go put your eyeballs on it. Um, I think if you need to see it, you if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can see it there. Or if you have a um, Screenbox uh, subscription, or I think they do a free trial every so often. But if you have one of those, you can definitely go see it for free, I think. Um, otherwise, you might have to find it somewhere, but um, go, go. What are you still doing here? Go. Okay. <laughs> not going into the five categories. We're not doing it. I already did the, the thing, so let's get into the gory details. <clears throat> Why did I apologize at the beginning of this? Because I gave Terrifier one a C. I feel bad, man. 
my first thoughts on Terrifier 2 is way to make a movie that makes Terrifier 1 better in hindsight. Way to make a movie that makes me look like a dick. <laughs> way to make a movie that makes me look like a bad guy. Because I was mean. I was real harsh on it for, for not having a plot and for some of the side characters not having much dialogue because you were planning to kill them off anyway. Damien's like, oh, I'll show you. I'm going to show you. You want a plot? I give you a plot. Two hours of one. Um, a lot of the comments about this movie are it is far, far, far too long. And no, I'm not going to agree with that. I thought the first one was too short and it didn't give me enough. And he gave me exactly what I asked for. And I couldn't be happier. I, I really... The, the, the points I took off for this film... Are not because it's bad. It's literally enjoyment points. It's nothing wrong with this film other than it's hard to watch. Is it as hard to watch? Well, I take that back. There is one thing. There is one gripe I have with this whole film. And it's it, it comes down to one thing. A Tommy gun, really, in the middle of the film. I mean, slap dab. In the middle of the film, you pull out a Tommy gun and you do a Tommy gun spray kill. Why? Why? It was doing fine. It was doing fine. He didn't need to... Again, this goes back to my weird point about why is it sometimes he kills people by torturing them and then why is it sometimes he just pulls out a 1911 and pops two in you? It, it, it comes down to that sort of question of what is going on with this clown. And I, I just got to say, Damien, of, you could have done everything else. The Tommy gun, really? So I took a point or some points off for that. And this, just some of the just sort of like hard to watchness kind of things and slowness here and little things there. I, I took maybe a point for all that. So, four stars. Ghosts, or four... I didn't say stars. I said skulls. Four skulls. Dave says go watch it. So, again, not bad movie. And way to give me a whole world around it. Way to give me a whole sort of genre of... Sort of just... A feeling of a universe that you're stretching out. And I am excited for Terrifier 3. I'm... Pretty sure he's going to do one. Pretty sure this is not the end of it. I mean, did you see that Vicky and, and Ark stinger at the end? Yeah, pretty sure this ain't done. And I so hope it's just like this one where they start right where they left off. I mean, just right there. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. It it, it really does. If If you've come to love these films like I've started to love these films... And and it was nice to see the, hey, the All Hallows' Eve references and the glowing eyes and the sort of references to the larger canon. And I was just floored. I was like, did did he see my review? Did he, did he listen? Like, I'm kind of worried. But no, nah, he, he, he made smart decisions and he did his, he did what any good writer does and any good filmmaker and artist does. He got better at it. And he did a damn good job. And I just... It's hard to say that this wouldn't have been... This film wouldn't have been as good without Terrifier. It wouldn't have hit this bar. And it wouldn't... I wouldn't have had certain jumps and certain feelings about certain scenes without having first witnessed what was, for me back then pedal down as hard as you could go and it's hard to say he don't go harder in this one but after human vivisection it's sort of i don't know I, I still that is still on the bar i mean underneath several other scenes from other films that are go way even worse and we'll deal with those in the filthy animal day on the 31st so stay tuned but no this one 
is underneath the plateau of films that I felt like I could still bring you and not have to call it a hardcore list. <sighs> but it's worth a watch. It definitely is. And I, I just gotta say, you know, not every horror film has to have a plot, but it's sort of nice when you know a little bit of what's going on and you can tell where something's going. But this one, you didn't... He he gave us so much more than that. I mean, the the backstory with the little girl and the carnival and tying it all in and giving us why it's called Terrifier. I mean, Damien Leon just salutes, full salute to you, sir. It is it is a masterwork. And David Howard Thornton, as long as you want to play this character, I'm willing to watch you play this character. I mean, as many films as you're going to put out i'm eyeballs on and ready to watch because this is i mean just you just don't need you just don't need the silly gun kills they're so impersonal and so just bang bah i, I don't know man it's the lightest criticism the lightest criticism but anyways i think that's gonna do it for this review again I don't think it's too long. I've heard a lot of people say that. I've heard a lot of people say they don't like the characters. I think the characters are fine. I think it's a good length. I, I don't know. I think people are just picky. Just picky nowadays. But that's not a problem for us, right? Mutants, freaks, weirdos, ghouls. You're with me, right? But anyways, if you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe for more. Because we're going to be dropping a uh, review every day for the whole month of October. At 5 p.m. each day. That's Eastern Standard Time. So don't get it confused. But thank you for joining me. Dungeon Dwellers. I hope to see you again on our next adventures. But until then. Don't go making fun of circus folk. <laughs>